In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the virtual DJ browser. This is where you're going to find your music and your playlists. Let's get to it. The virtual DJ browser is where you'll find your music. So let's take a closer look. As mentioned in the last video, the browser is at the bottom half of your screen and you can give yourselves a little bit more space by collapsing the side view window by clicking on this tab over here. There you go. And we can do the same for the info browser window over here. There we are. Now we've got a lot of space. Okay, so the browser is split into two main parts. The big portion here in the middle is where you'll find your actual tracks. And this on the left shows you your playlists or folders as they're called in Virtual DJ. If you click on local music, like so, you'll find your file folders on your hard drive. You'll also find the iTunes icon over here, which lets you access your iTunes library. This means that all your iTunes playlists and music will be accessible from within the Virtual DJ browser. And we recommend using iTunes to organize your DJ library. We'll get to that in a later lesson in this module. Now, if you don't see iTunes in here, it could be because there's a setting in iTunes that you just have to enable, and we'll do that in the next lesson. So stick with me from now. Okay, now let's try loading a tune onto the deck. All I need to do is to go to the browser, click on local music, click on iTunes, pick a playlist, let's say this one, click on a song here, and drag it to the left deck. It'll then load, and I can use deck one in the party mix to control it. And we're not hearing anything because the crossfader is set all the way to the right, so let's just move that to the middle so you can hear both decks. There we are. Cool. Now let's try loading a track over onto the right deck. This time, I'll pick a song from a virtual DJ folder that I've created, and I'll use the controls on the new Mark Party Mix. So I'm going to use the Browse knob over here. I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of my browser. I'm going to find a folder that I created called Deep House. Now I'm going to click on the Browse knob, and I am going to enter the folder, and now I can select any of the tunes that I've got in here. So let's say I want this one. And if I want to load it over onto deck number two, the right deck, I just have to press the to load button over here on the party mix. There we are. We've now got it loaded over onto deck number two. That's it. Now, before we end, let's take a look at some of the controls here in the browser. This one is the Add Favorite folder, and it lets you add a folder within Virtual DJ's browser for any folder that you've got in your hard drive. That's useful for adding your music downloads folder straight into Virtual DJ, for example. The one below it is the Add Virtual folder, and this one lets you add a playlist in the browser which you can fill with tunes. The next button is the Add Filter folder, and this lets you create an intelligent playlist using parameters that you specify. Let's try that right now. I'm going to click on it. Create filter folder. Click OK. And then now you can choose from any of the available filter specifications, such as title, artist, album, BPM, and so on. So it's a handy way of creating an intelligent playlist automatically, long as you specify the parameters that you want for the songs to be included in the filter folder. Okay, moving further down, this is the go to last folder button. It kind of serves as a back button for the browser. Now this button over here lets you customize the browser so you can show or hide certain things. You can change the display from list view to grid view and other display options over here. Finally, you've got Two buttons over here, these are the font size increase or decrease. So if you have poor eyesight like me, you can make the fonts bigger. Or if they're taking up too much space and you've got a small screen and your eyes are pretty good or sharp, well, you can decrease the font size. So again, lots of customization options here for you. Now I want you to fire up Virtual DJ and explore the browser. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up iTunes as your DJ library management software because it's one of the best ways to keep your library organized. I'll see you in the next lesson.